Yeah, ignore the hair, please. Um, today is March 29th, 2010. I actually did this in my living room, but apparently um, rooms that have carpet don't have more static sounds and crazy things that go on because the sound was way off. Um, six points. Six. One. Sorry, I haven't done a vlog in a while. It's been kind of hectic recently. Point two. Over spring break, uh, I lost my dog. So we went to the woods, and uh, I usually let him off on our favorite trail, and he goes meandering and chases small animals, and I whistle and comes back. He didn't. He got lost. For 30 hours. Um, I love my dog. I have a boyfriend. I have kids. It's my dog. I adore him. Lots of cuddles. Lots of walks. I lost him. I lost my mind. Um, but I had lots and lots of help getting him back. Um, so I want to thank, first and foremost, the property owner. Uh, she let me camp out on the property, which is what actually allowed me to find my dog. Um, he actually found me. He um, hit the side of my car in the my car was parked and he jumped at it and it kind of shook like a shark hitting the side of a boat. I think I might take pictures of the little par mark, like the mud paw marking on the side of my car and like frame it somewhere as the instant, the impact of finding my dog. It was very exciting. Um, so, uh, because of that, I spent, like, three days pretty much frantic, uh, over either finding him or recovering, and, um, it's pretty much wasted my entire spring break. Um, he's back. He's had a really in-depth bath because he was just covered in mud and all kinds of stuff when he came home. Um, he had exposure and I had exposure. So we, the day I found him was March 20th, the day he went missing was March 18th. Um, so we pretty much spent March 20th watching New Moon. Yeah, secret. I kind of am a Twilight fan. But I'm sort of self-hating Twilight fan because Twilight fans scare me. I haven't met a sane one yet, and I don't know what that means for me, and I'm kind of scared of them. Um, but more about that later. Um, I, of course, want to thank, um, Kaylee and Alicia. They actually put up flyers, which what is what led to him being found. People spotted him in the park, so I knew that I camped out there, and he found me. So, um, Mary came in and, um, helped me uh, sort of deal with the whole thing. She brought food, showed up shortly after Bear did, um, and we had a feast, and she helped me bring him home. And um, while he has sort of a surly attitude these days, um, he's fine. Um, I want to thank my parents, of course, for supporting me through the entire endeavor, and um, my friend Justin, who talked to me and distracted me from losing my mind, through most of the time that I, uh, had him lost. Point three. Um, I didn't find a job over spring break, which really, really sucks, because I need one really badly, and my parents keep on my ass, and I know I have to find one, and I have to do things, but I haven't. <gasps> so I have to find a job, and I also have to help my friends find a job, because, um, because of the new health care bill that's going in, um, a couple of my friends are going to be losing their jobs, because we're kids, and, um, Employers fire the younglings first. It's just the way it goes. Point four. Um, during March, I lost 8.6 pounds. I, I went on my Wii yesterday, and I hadn't measured myself since March 3rd. And uh, guess what? Yeah. From the 3rd to the 28th, 25 days, I lost 8.6 pounds, and that's really, really exciting. And I'm sure most of it has to do with the fact that I probably lost limb in the process of trying to find my dog. Um, I was pretty much free galata. Um, 
but part of it of course is probably the smoothies and the exercise which having a dog allows you to do lots of walks and exercise so especially him he's really active and it's like let's go for one now please come on I like that more walkies point five um I also read uh, over the last week The Lightning Thief. Uh, I borrowed the book from Sosi and it was fantastic and if you like the the Greek pantheon and if you like stories about the Greek pantheon, it is a fantastic series. I totally played into it where um, it's not predictable, like if you know anything about the pantheon, it, it sort of catches you in with that and then toward the end of the story it just shows layers upon layers of, of just wonderful plot and great characters and just the concept of Ares as a biker is really hot I'm sorry just imagining it it's like yeah yeah and yeah 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 and then you know of course I think of it in an anime term I want to see this in anatomy now. Um, oh, I'm crying. Oh, okay. Um, point six. And, uh, so from watching New Moon with my friends, uh, Kai, Sosi, and her Yeti, we came up with the fact that, well, mostly Kai did, and I went, <gasps> And now I have all these brain crack running around going, yes, and this, and this, and this, and this. Um, I, I do believe that Twilight originally evolved from a Buffy fanfic. Um, I can trace back every little concept or idea or quirk in Twilight to an episode of Josh Wheaton's Buffy or Angel. And it's been driving me mad because I really want to write a giant paper on this and be like, Stephanie Myers doesn't have an original thought in her head, which I don't know if anybody does, but, you know, um, so she said that there's actually a lot of people online who believe this, but they haven't been able to prove it. I think you can. I want to. Peace out, peace out, peace out, peace out. <gasps> Sammy! Sammy, Bammy, Boo, Bammy! <gasps> I know it's you. Oh! Samwise wants to say goodbye. <gasps> goodbye! Goodbye! Sammy says goodbye. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love my Samwise. Oh, I do. Here's a good boy.